Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little unboxing. Uh, sorry I ain't been on in a while, but you know, stuff happens. And uh, anyways, uh, so I figured I'd hop on here and show y'all some new stuff. You know, I ordered some new baits and ordered a new reel. Uh, really excited about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in and watching and liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff. Uh, anyway, we got a bunch of snow. We've been snowed in, uh, for the past two days now. And, uh, anyways, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. It looks like it's supposed to thaw out in the next day or two, and then we're supposed to get more snow, so... We'll see what happens there, but anyways, let's get into this. What y'all came here for? And just so you know, I'm gonna save the reel for last because I'm excited about that. <clears throat> I forgot what I even ordered in this box, but we'll see. Oh, we got our paperwork. We got paper to be. All right, so we're gonna start off with what's right on top. So I got these, uh, three inch shed shape worm from Yamamoto Bates. And the color is uh, Chartreuse Electric Blue. And it's a 10 pack. So let's take a look at these. All right. So there we go. We got the Basically a little low, uh, basically what I would consider a little drop shot minnow. Does have a little line groove in the middle where your hook can go through and in, in and out, but definitely like the color. Electric charge roost symbol. Good color around here. And uh, you get 10 of those in a pack. Okay, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I bought some more of this uh, suffix uh, performance braid, 10 pound. Uh, they still had it on sale. Uh, it's 100 yards. Uh, it's got the equivalent of four pound mono. So can't beat that. Uh, next. Uh, uh, I've been wanting this for a while. I bought one already, but I wanted this color and they had these on sale. This is the Ike's Mini Swim Jig, and it's a 3 16th ounce. And the color of it is Ike's Secret. And, uh, anyways, this is just a little low finesse swim jig. Take it on out of the package. And there it is. All of it in that little glory. Uh, has the big old bug eyes on it. I don't know if it, there you go. You can see it's got a, like a baby blue head. And then it's got some, uh, like green pumpkin and some black and some electric blue and shad colors in it. Really nice looking little jig. I like the little finesse jig. Uh, that's a pretty decent little, little bait keeper on there. And so, yeah. 
I'll just, I'm excited to get that color. Glad it went on sale. Uh, next up, I had these on sale for dirt cheap. This is uh, the 13 Fishing uh, Flatty Daddy. And uh, this was the only color that I've been missing. Uh, I've got all the colors of these, multiple colors. And uh, this one was the Rusty Brim. This is uh, two and a half inches, half an ounce, uh, dive three to six feet. A real good uh, flat sided crankbait. Don't hear very many people talk about them. But anyway, you can see it's flat sided. Real nice color. And you got the square bill, has the depth on it right there. Really nice. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it comes with uh, VMC, VMC trebles. They have two sets of uh, trebles they use on their baits. And I don't remember which ones get which, but usually on the back it'll tell you. Get this back in there. Maybe. There we go. So on this one they have uh yeah VMC. So anyways, that's a good little pickup. And this right here come free with my order. It's a Rapala OG Slim, which I really like. I don't even th uh, this is a color I do not have, I don't believe. The color is not on there, but it is some kind of crawfish color. Really good bait. Uh, dive to six feet. Uh, two and three fourth inches long and weighs three or weighs half an ounce. And I use the, the mini a lot. And, uh, it does pretty well. The balsa bait has quite a bit of weight to it, but that's a real nice crawl pattern. And uh, it does have an orange belly. And this right here is the time of the year to be using these uh, flat sided crankbaits. If you ain't got ice on the water, or if it ain't snowing. Next up, uh, this is a bait that I do not have. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. They say it's a really good crank bait. So I went ahead and picked up one. This is uh, the Norman Speed N Junior. Dive four to six feet, and it's in the color of Lavender Shed. I had to pick this up. It was on sale as well. And I picked up another Norman's lure a while back and I really liked their, uh, their, their clear coat on there is really good. But anyways, this is the Lavender Shad. A Lavender Shad is a real good color. Uh, a lot of people talk about it. And so anyway, whenever I heard about it, I was like, I'm going to go pick it up. They just painted the eyes on, which is cool. And uh, anyways, a lot of people just said that it was a really good bait. Didn't matter the color. But I did hear a few channels talk about that Pacific color. So I picked it up. Next up. Uh, these are not, are new, but I've showed them on the channel before, and I went back and picked up some uh, more of them in different sizes. The last ones I picked were in uh, five inch, so this time I went and got the four inch. 
Uh, this right here is the Savage Gear Fat Tail or Fat Minnow T Tail, and it's a four inch, and it's in uh, I don't even know what the color is. To be honest with you, it don't say. It does, but it's hard to read what it says. Uh, anyways, to me, it looks like electric shed, but who knows? But anyways, I like that they put the eyes on there and has a pretty nice boot tail on there. And anyways, uh, I've been fishing the five inch version of this other one. I haven't fished this one quite yet, but anyways, uh, this other one I'm going to show you has done really good for me. I've caught a few fish off of it. But anyways, that's the new one from Savage Gear. And this one right here as well is new from uh, Savage Gear. And uh, this one is called the Cannibal Shed in 4 inch. And I've had really good luck off of this one. They have one that's a chartreuse pearl. And it done really good for me. As you can see here, it's, it's real segmented. And it gets a lot of action. I mean, it swims through the water really well. And uh, so anyways, I picked up this one. Since I had good luck on the other one, I figured a more natural color would probably bring me better results. So we'll see. All right, I think we've got one bait left and then we'll get to the real, maybe two baits left. I think I have two baits left. Let me dig this out of here real quick. Yeah, we got two baits left. Alright, so this is a, a new bait from Snag Proof, and it's called the Zoo Dog. And then this one is in bone color, and I'm not sure the size, but if I had to guess, it's probably four, four and a half inches, maybe. But anyways, it's basically a Zara spook that is, you know, made out of rubber, basically like a frog. And you can see them nice hooks on there. Really nice looking little bait. And it's got a little feather back here, not a hook. So, anyways, real nice looking bait. Got them nice big old eyes on there. And so anyways, you should be able to throw this up in the grass or anywhere you can throw a frog. But just think of a spook as coming through where you can't normally throw a spook. So I thought that was really cool. So we got that, and then last up but not least, they had these on sale, so I went ahead and picked them up as well. I haven't ever tried them, I don't think. These are called the Z-Man Long Shots, and the color is Twilight, which is basically their version of Morning Dawn. Let's get one of these out of here. Alright, so there we go. It's basically a long flat sided worm and then it has this this weird uh, tail. Almost like a little spear or a spade or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, it's a flat sided worm. Uh, so I would imagine on a drop shot or uh, maybe even on a shaky head, that'll probably work pretty good. 
So anyways, I didn't have any of them that I know of. I could have. I've got so much Z-Man stuff that I can't keep up with what I really got. But we'll see. Anyways, uh, so that's that. So that's all the baits. Uh, so anyways, let's get into the big thing. So anyways, I, when I ordered my reel, uh, if you spent $150 or more, you got an, a shirt for free. So I got this one. This one was green. So I'll probably start wearing this on video since I do a lot of tackle warehouse unboxings. And so I spent 150 something dollars on this reel. And here it is, the 13 fishing modus or modus on the video. They call, they said it's called the modus. I call it the modus, but anyways, it's uh, the SZ2. And anyways, it has, uh, it weighs 7.19 ounces uh, it's got eight ball bar, all total ball bearings. It's got 12, they hold 12 pounds, 130 yards, uh, 18 pounds of drag, and 30.6 inches per turn at seven, three to one gear ratio. So here is what the reel looks like. It's got purple, it's got big purple, clear translucent handles. Got purple side knobs. has click and drag and uh, the spool itself has the little thing where you can tie it in there and it also has a hook keeper got the beetle wing system as you can see there Purple inside and black. It's got the uh, HD aluminum frame. And so basically it is gray and purple. And I like to really stand out. A lot of people are probably wondering what's so special about this reel. And to be honest with you, I mean, it ain't nothing that's really special. But I will tell you this, it does have bushings instead of bearings. And uh, the 13 Fishing Inception Sports Z has the bushings instead of bearings. And I will tell you, it casts a lot better. You don't have to worry about greasing them or oiling them or anything like that. You basically just, you know, fish it. And I do like that. It's a low maintenance reel. And so anyways, there's that. And now I'm going to pause the video and then we're going to set it up for like an overhead view. That way maybe y'all can get a better look. So let's do that. So here's the reel from the overhead view. And like I said, it's, to me, this right here is a really nice reel. I like how they put the modest SZ2 in there. It's got a nice thumb button and it's just buttery smooth. And then you can tell it's got big old knobs on it. It's, I mean, it just fits in your hand a lot better than a lot of reels. I do like how they put the big handles on there and so there's your drag system. And like I said, it does have click and drag. 
and then your tensioner knob and metal uh, so yeah let's see where it's uh, what it says is made in China but anyways really nice reel in my opinion so anyways that's my first uh you know like uh first impressions i do have the other modices this is the expensive line of modice and even fishing the cheaper ones they fish really really well so i would expect this one to that you know is a hundred and fifty dollars to fish a heck of a lot better than the cheaper version one so anyways that's just my thoughts so anyways let me know what y'all think about this reel have y'all looked at it have you seen it if not uh maybe you want to check it out if you like 13 fishing reels but anyways that is it for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed and like i said let me know what y'all think about the reel and the baits and let's get back to me all right so anyways that is uh gonna be it for today uh i hope y'all enjoyed the video and the closer look at the reel like i said i'm really excited to try this one out uh it does have a really wide line through i don't know what you call that thing but anyways where the line don't rub up against the eye of the reel so and then like i said it does have the line thing where you can just tie, stick your line through there and tie you a knot i do like that so anyways i'm just excited to get this reel i've been working on it for a while to get it so ready to put it on a rod and fish it so Anyways, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all on the next one.